Hey guys, welcome back to Buildcraft, Industrial Craft, Red Power, Ticket, all that good stuff. So as you see, our quarry stopped. And um, we don't really want to power it with redstone engines and combustion engines because it's just so volatile, you know? So we want to do something a little more useful because most of your machines are going to have um, a setup using all this sort of um, solar power and stuff, so like your mass radius. So you probably want to be using industrial craft power to power these quarries. Now, to do that, we need something called an energy link. And I notice there is another way to do it as well. But energy link is the, by far the best. It takes any power, so you can put HV in there straight away. But it only takes as much power as the attached machine needs, which is pretty awesome. So this is how you make it. So two golden gears, three redstone dust, two advanced alloys, wooden conductive pipe, and copper cable. So pretty cheap overall. It's, it's not bad at all. So let's start at the top, the advanced alloys. Now I'm not going to make this because it takes forever. Well, long. <laughs> so you need to put a mixed metal ingot into a compressor. And a compressor you know how to make. I've showed you that before. So the mixed metal ingot is just three refined irons on top. Bronze, which is um, copper and tin in a macerator and it makes bronze dust and yeah really it's annoying you can't go back and then the bottom layer is tin and that makes mixed metal ingots now you put those into a compressor and that makes you these babies the advanced alloys and you need these for most of the advanced machinery so chances are that you'll already be there Cool, what else we need? Well, we need three redstone, so I have those. I have a couple of cables, and we need the golden gears. So, only two, I think it was. So, let's make this into golden gears, which I showed you in the last episode how to do that. Oh, oops, forgetting the iron. Come on, do 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 do. Iron gears. I make those in the gold gears. The only problem is that it takes ages, but <laughs> so we have that as well. And then we just put it on oh no, a wooden conductive pipe. So you would just make a normal wooden transport pipe. And like so. And we get eight, so that's plenty. We just need one. And we put that in with some redstone. And that makes a conductive pipe. Easy. Oh, ah, eight is fine as well. So the recipe was free redstone through the middle, advanced alloys, a pipe, two of these golden gears, and a cable. And that makes us an energy link. And this thing is amazing. So you don't have to oh, I'm gonna make it day. You don't have to make it connect to a quarry, you can put it somewhere else, but I don't know, this looks nicest. Um so what I usually do is I put it on under the quarry, under the ground. But um for now, plonk, done power it and you can see a quarry starts working and and sort of spitting stuff into the air <laughs> and this will work at the fastest velocity now if you, you put the ng link away from the quarry you can actually power three quarries at once uh, with one energy link so that's pretty cool that works well and well our power doesn't really but I'll disconnect all the solar arrays and it doesn't use too much one or two low voltage solar arrays will be able to handle that easily. So yeah, that's the um, the energy link and how you convert power. Now you can convert power back from built craft into industrial craft as well, but it's it's quite expensive and quite a pain. And really, the power sources in industrial craft is way better, honestly. So um, I, I'm not going to show that at all. Cool. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.